Oh my god. I'm going to start off with the same intro as I did yesterday after I have to re-record this again. But I tell you, it's all in good favor because it is finally time for the first episode of the best team for Hoenn. Now, this would have gone up yesterday due to two reasons why. One being because I had to go through some personal trouble with YouTube and other kind of stuff. We're fine, don't worry about it, but we're good now. Um, the other reason being is because I had the volume, the game volume, way too loud. And I, there's no way that I could record, you know, I, I could post, you know, like, something that loud with you guys, because I don't like putting out crap content on my channel. But anyways, welcome to the first episode of Best Team for Hoenn. Um, as you guys can see, well, we didn't get the shiny mudkit, and I'll prove to you why. Just, just look. Because we're at the new game screen, so... Unfortunately, we did not get the shiny mudkip, and we'll get into that later, because now we have an introduction to do, and I'm gonna do some, I guess, some some tacky voices, I guess, for Professor Birch. <clears throat> I have no idea what I'm gonna make this guy sound like. Um, maybe, like, a, uh... I don't know, maybe some older man in his 40s, I guess? Hi, sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Birch. But everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. And this is what we call a Pokemon. Really? I thought it was called the Digimon, man. Digital monsters, you know, the whole entire show. No? Oh, I, I guess not. We're in a we're in a truck. And um Yeah, it's it's well known for Pokemon, okay. We humans alongside Pokemon at times playing together as friends, and at times helping. Helping one's uh, helping one other out. You're not on the team! Aw, oh, Aaron, or on your cute. Ha ha, Hariyama's in the team and you're not. Ah, uh, you're not on the team either. Ha, oh, you're definitely not on the best team for Helen. <laughs> I do like trophies, though. It's kind of cute. Hey, it's the worst version of Staraptor. Okay, okay, I will admit, Tail is actually really, really powerful if you not use it properly. Especially the Boom Burst and Guts. Dang, that's a powerful combo. Crobat Spare, though. Hey, guys, look, we're playing Game Boy Advance. What about you? Are you a boy or girl? Uh, I identify as a 1990s printer. Is there a 1990s printer option on here? Apparently there's only a boy or a girl. Okay, um, will you give me your name too? Yeah, sure, why not? You know what? Just for the heck of it. You know what? We're gonna, we're, we're gonna have a little bit more fun this time. Rather than calling ourselves a mystic, I kind of feel like calling myself 90s printer. Or you know what? That may actually be kind of bad, huh? Uh, man, I don't know what I should name myself because it's kind of typical because like I've been watching like a lot of like Maryland LPs lately and he's been naming himself after like different kinds of like vegetables. I think um, his Omega Ruby wedlock was named Hungry. So, I mean, and he named his, he, he had like a, a, a theme name that he had like for fruits and vegetables. You know what? I'm gonna go with 90s printer. I don't know why. But I'm gonna name my freaking character 90s printer. I'm kidding. We we what's this call ourselves mystic so we can avoid all the trouble. Yeah, what's this call ourselves mystic? Although you guys have the uh, you, you guys know that I have the intent to call myself 90s printer. And if you guys are viewers on my live stream, which I re definitely recommend that you guys should come do, I identify as a we, we joke around, and I identify as a 1990s printer. It's it's super, super funny. We get into, like, all these awesome discussions and stuff. Anyways, my name is Mystic. Um, if you guys, in case you guys do not know me, in case you guys are new subscribers, my name is Mystic Umbreon. I do a lot of uh, Pokemon content, such as, um, obviously, most of you guys know the best team. That's probably why you're watching this. I also do top fives and theories, and I do a lot of, uh, I don't know, challenge videos sometimes. Apparently, my subscribers enjoy that, but a lot of them enjoy just my scripted content and my best team, so... I mean, I don't know, you guys are overall fans, and but I mean, I love the kind of stuff that I do, and um, this is who I am. I'm some 10-year-old boy with a, uh, in the Helen region, yeah, I'm that mystic. See, this guy knows who Mystic Umbreon is, come on now. Yeah, I'm moving to Litteru 10 where I live, yes I do. Except I'd, I'd prefer to live in Johto. Look at how sad and miserable that Azuril looks. I'm ready, oh yeah, dude, I'm ready. Really, it's about to unfold? Alright, well dude, let's, uh, well, let's get going on this adventure. Leap into the world of Pokemon for sure, dude. I'll just leap out of this moving truck. Alright, dude, I'll see you at your Pokemon lab. I'll do more voices later, guys. Don't worry about it. 
Oh, I need to send out Skype real quick. You guys might hear like a little noise. All right, here we go. Yes, I use Discord for anybody asking. The, the Discord is way better than Skype. I just it is a familiar smell. More like this is zero doll. This looks like it's about to. Can you guys see the? Can you guys just see like the facial sadness on this is zero doll? I don't know if you guys can see it, but this thing looks super super sad. I mean, and out of all dolls, you know, to like be in the back, why isn't it zero? Is it because like it it's it's a privilege to Meryl, or is it just because it's such a crappy Pokemon? We got all these suitcases and stuff here as a, a brand delivery service, all the other stuff, but yeah, here we go. Buy a zero. Miserable Pokemon. We are in the Hoenn region. It is super, super beautiful too, honestly. Look at that. There's a there's a thing foreshadowing towards the end of the game. Wait, what? I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, here's mom. What's up, mom? How's it going today? Mystic, you're here at last. Wasn't it tough riding in the back of that bumpy moving truck all that way? Well, this is Little Root Town. What do you think? This is going to be our new home. It has a quaint feel, but it looks like it should be a nice place to live, don't you think? And you get your own room this time, Mystic. Oh, cool. So I don't have to sleep in the back of the truck or in the, um, in the kitchen underneath the sink. Nice, nice. So, so yeah, this time we have a room. So I guess literally this whole entire time, I guess we were either sleeping in the attic, sleeping in some behind, in her, underneath the sink, inside some crammed up shelf. <laughs> oh God. I mean, as you, I mean, as much as you guys know, like in the Pokemon games, all these houses are like super, super small. It's like you, it's like there are like these houses where it's just like one television set. You have like four people living in there. And then there's, there's one, there's one big table. And they maybe have like a window, maybe like a couple cupboards, bookshelves, and that's it. So it's like, where do the people sleep in that house? So like, he's like, do you do one of them? Does one of them sleep on the chair? Does one of them sleep on the television set? Does one of them sleep on top of the table? Yeah, you see, that's just like the one thing you have to ask. And you have the question about the Pokemon world. It's like, I'd say we like those buildings too that have like no doors. All right, well, we should probably resume with, the, with, the, with this let's play. I can I can talk about this all day long. Okay, so, see, Mystic, isn't it nice here too? <clears throat> <coughs> oh, I need to do my good mom voice ago. The moving company's Pokemon even help with the unpacking and cleanup. They really move, uh, they really make moving a cinch. Fun fact, in Ruby and Sapphire, there are actually, um, Machokes in here, too. And in Emerald, I think there are actually figure offs and orbs, obviously, or us, um, Grow, grow, grow! Grow, vile! Thanks for the hard work, we really appreciate it. Gua, gua! Don't take this to dad's gym. Growl, growl, growl. He, he's basically like, hey man, hit me up later for some pizza. <laughs> all right, let's, let's go. Oh, so, so, so dad bought me a clock. Cool, all right. Hey guys, look, it's the zero doll. At least it looks semi happier. It says it, it says it has a familiar smell. Does that mean that it's, it's Johto or what? I'm not sure. What, if you guys know the significance of this zero doll's like smell, let me know in the comments. Like I'm, I'm curious like where that actually comes from to look. There's a house. Oh, we got, we got some cool television speakers. Got a was that grandfather clock in the left corner? It sure looks like a clock. It's a bookshelf. Oh, Pokemon magazines. Pokemon Pal, Pokemon Handbook. Adorable Pokemon. Umbra, I'm better be in that book or else I'll kill you. Okay, let's see. This book's up. Tonight's dinner plans. Right. So, so, so where does mom uh, sleep? Because I'm the only one with the room. Dad probably sleeps at his Pokemon gym. Oh, spoiler alert. The dad's the gym with a pet of Pillbrook City. The mom probably sleeps on the chairs. Or she can sleep in the cupboard underneath the sink. I don't know. Pokemon games are so illogical sometimes. It's crazy. Okay. Yeah, let's set the clock. Right now in California, it is currently 8.30 a.m. So I'm waking up pretty early for the to record this for you guys. And I was actually supposed to go to class this morning, but I didn't go. Because I had to take care of some business. Such as recording stuff. And I wanted to be caught up in everything. So I like a new room, Mystic. Good, everything's put away neatly. They finished moving away everything downstairs, too. It really is so nice having Pokemon around to help us. Oh, but you should make sure that everything is all there in your desk. Let's see, pencil, check, book, check, notebook, check, treasure chest that I'm probably never going to open, check. Okay, let's go. Oh, Mystic, come quickly, come quickly. Oh, yeah. That's the Pelbert Gym, maybe Dad will be on. 
We have brought you this report live from in front of Pedalberg Gym. Next up, a special look at a long-awaited meteor shower up in the next star show, foreshadowing for the epic foreshadowing for the Delta episode of this game. Oh, it's already ended. Looks like your dad was on, but we missed his part. What a shame. Oh, but this reminds me. One of Dad's friends lives in town. Professor B Birch is his name. Sorry, he lives right next to he lives right next to us. So you should go introduce yourself. Oh yeah, well, dude. Hell yeah. All right, so welcome to every starting town in the typical Pokemon game. You got the Pokemon Lab, the Rival's House, and where's the fat guy that does technology? Are you the fat guy that does technology? No, you're some little kid. Damn, dude, you've really lost weight since Ruby and Sapphire. They think you can trade by in 30 days in sleep mode. That's crazy. All right, so we gotta go next door to Professor Brutus' house. Can't go out here yet. And if you go talk, if you go upstairs, uh, just random intruding into someone's house. I'm surprised you don't get arrested for breaking and entering. Oh, you're Mystic, our next door neighbor. Actually, that's our mom's voice. Huh? I need to come up with something a little bit more. I don't want to come up, you know, with like white girl Starbucks voice. We'll do that for. Oh my God, we're doing that for May. Yes, May will be freaking white girl Starbucks chick. Um, shout out to Savannah, by the way. I love you, Savannah. Uh, what am I going to... Damn it. What am I going to do for her voice? Should I make her sound like some old grandma? Here, I'm saying. <clears throat> oh, you're Mystic, our new next-door neighbor. Welcome. We have a daughter about the same age as you. She's been excited about making a new friend. And I broke my hip at the age of 70. She will ship you in upstairs. I hope you'll go and introduce yourself. All right, Mom, sure. What's up? Uh, what's that show? King's Rock. Oh, dude, what? Watchy Watch Hog. Have you heard of King's Rock? Watchy Watch Hog. Yeah, Watch Hog is a terrible Pokemon. Don't don't ever use Watch Hog, guys. It's it's trash. Like if you guys ever ever want like a good like normal Pokemon, no, I do not want to watch this. Use like use Trum. Was it freaking Gum Shoes? Yeah, Gum Shoes and freaking what the hell's this pre evolution name again? Young Goose. Gum Shoes and Young Goose. Yeah. Youngest being the first one, Gumshoes being the evolution. I'm not I'm, I'm not exactly a huge fan of Cinnamon, but no, oh, here's May. <clears throat> okay, we're gonna do White Girl Starbucks voice. Are you guys ready for this? Like, Pokemon fully restored, items already end, uh, like, who are you? Huh? Like, who are you? Uh what? Uh oh, you must be mystic. Like, you're gonna move us today? Well, I'm May, like, glad to meet you. I like Starbucks Frappuccinos and the new unicorn drink. <laughs> I actually have this dream of becoming friends with Pokemon all over the world. And when Dad was, I mean, oh, Professor Birch, like, he told me you're moving here. I was something that you'd be nice. Like, we could, like, go, like, to Starbucks and, like, go get the new unicorn drink, even though it tastes like complete poo-poo pee water. But that's just silly, isn't it? I just met you. <laughs> so I'm like, what am I talking about? Like, <laughs> God, I already feel like I've lost brain cells. Oh no, like, I forgot. Like, I was supposed to be going out to help Dad with, like, some Starbucks coffee and some Pokemon. Duh. I'm gonna be losing tons of brain cells every time I do that voice. I'm not even freaking kidding. <laughs> okay, what time is it right now? <laughs> it's gonna be a grid LP. <laughs> Home region's map. Yeah, we can zoom in. Okay, that's great. You guys see the, uh, let me, let me move my mouse and screw real quick. You guys see this little place right over here? Okay. I know this is, like, unprofessionalism, but I'm doing this, like, intentionally. You you, you guys see, you see this little city over here? Little Cove City? Yeah, that's my favorite city. Little Cove's great. In case you guys are wondering how I'm recording this, um, I'm using a 3DS capture card by Katsu Kitty. Um, if you guys ever want to get a capture card, go to 3dscapture.com. Loopy so much better. Unfortunately, I think he's closed right now, um, so Katsu Kitty is like the second best thing. Luckily, I've had two capture cards. Shout out to Mike P for this uh, capture card that I've had since 2015. Fun fact, this is actually the same capture card I'm using to um, record this, and I did with Omega Ruby Broodlock, so... It's cool stuff, cool stuff. Alright, so we are in uh, Little Root Town, and apparently now, um, some little kid staring off into the distance. Well, what's what's going on, man? Hey, there's someone screaming up ahead. What should we do? Would somebody has to go help? Alright, apparently we have to go help. Uh, help me! Help, I'm being chased around by a level 3 dog! <laughs> Look at how he runs, he runs like Shrek. <laughs> this is gonna be a great LP. Oh, I'm really looking forward to this. If, if, if you guys are looking forward to this LP, be sure to slam that like button and uh, comment your, I don't know. I, I, I guess question of the day is gonna be like, um, 
What should our starter Pokemon's nickname be? And what was your favorite part of the episode? I'm, I'm definitely curious. Let's kick off this episode great. All right, guys, we're going to pick Trico. I'm kidding, we can't. Our starter's a Mudkip. And we spent 2,525 soft resets trying to get this guy. Watch us get it now. I'm like, I, I'm not even kidding. Just like, watch. Okay, if if we got it, I would have screamed like a little girl. And what's really, really weird is like every time like I come out to the screen, I feel like I'm supposed to put like the little hot number key I have. Okay, so when you soft reset, you guys know how you have a number on the side with how many times you've soft reset it. I have a hot key thing on my computer and on my keyboard to where I press it, the number goes up. I'm so used to pressing that hawk here right now and like trying to like reset. It's it's been that bad. Maybe I'll try again to get another shiny starter when like Sinnoh and stuff comes up, but we'll see what happens. Alright, uh, go for tackle. The funny thing is, is I think it actually does more than water gun. Let's see. Can water gun even knock it out? I mean it should be able to from, from this point. I, I would imagine it it is able to knock it out. Oh yeah. From that range, but the funny thing is is like I think water gun actually does less. Unless this mud comes just naturally like a and a physical attacker. I know it's got I know, I know it's got better physical attack than special attack, but you know, at special attack, you know, it's like nothing to like to sleep on neither. But with it being stab, it might be a little bit more powerful, or it could just be like an adamant nature or something that buffs the physical attack. But I'm gonna go back to doing voices for Professor Birch. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're in Helen though. Helen's a great region. So Mystic. I've heard so much about you from your father, but he said that you don't have your own Pokemon yet. If that's true, that was quite the performance back there. Looks like you really are your father's son. Oh, he has to say thanks for asking me out there. How about I give you that Pokemon you used earlier? There's some Mudkip I appreciate it. Heck yeah. Do I want to nickname it? Um, no, because that is your guys' job to nickname Mudkip down in the comment section below. So whatever uh, Mudkip name you guys have in mind, um, we'll go. Oh, I, I have to go meet this kid, apparently. Um, just, just make sure that your daughter keeps the, the unicorn frat boy from me, please. I'll do dialogue another time. I mean, we'll do dialogue later, trust me. I, I'll do dialogue when the voice comes. Whoa, is it, is that Helen just by itself? Or is that like a whole world map? Ooh, observe. The details of the Pokemon that have the Helen regions is put on that. Okay, well, damn, is, is there actually like... Okay, so that looks like Hoenn only. I'm gonna look, like, look at that. Um, let's see, there's Lilico, there's Deford. Okay, so so that is actually the Hoenn region map only. I see, I thought, you know, that, that would be like a world map or something, but no. It's only Hoenn. <clears throat> yeah, Hoenn's a great game. I'll be, I'll be completely honest with you guys. I, I've been really looking forward to playing through Hoenn for like the longest time. And it's just so cool, you know, that I'm able to go back and do the series I did back in 2015, except not really, because it's on a breed lock, and I, I don't know, I, I just really, really like Cohen and everything about it, it's tropicalness, I, I, you know, honestly, like, out of all my favorite regions, I'd say pretty, I'd probably say Hoenn's actually probably my third favorite, Johto being first, Kalos being second, uh, Gen 4 being fourth, and, um, Gen 5 being fifth, actually, I know, right, kind of a weird order, but, and then with Pokemon Sun and Moon, I don't know, I just really wasn't, all that I mean like it was really really cool you know when it came out I love what they tried to do with the games in terms of you know the the whole new twist of Pokemon I know of trail captains everything you know I felt like the the twist was fantastic you know and I really really you know enjoyed the overall gameplay of the game but to be completely fair I still miss like that classic Pokemon and no not that gen 1 crap or the Pokemon or magnets attached to it and to, to be fair I actually do like magnets on but I'm talking about Pokemon like Electro that is complete trash. I mean, the, the Pokemon were great. Team Skull was hilarious. I just didn't really like... I didn't really like the Trials. I honestly felt that there should have been gyms. And Z Crystals really weren't my thing. I kind of wish they would have brought back Mega Evolution. Now, you can argue, you know, that Mega... You know, that Z, Z, Z Crystals, you know, give the Pokemon, you know, the spotlight and stuff like that. But Mega Evolution just gave those individual Pokemon that needed it more of a boost. This guy's basically just going to say that he's he, he's gonna give you potions. There's the Pokemon Mar. It's got a blue roof or not. For, for those of you guys that have, haven't played Pokemon, it's the red roof is the Pokemon Center. 
Yeah, the red roof's the Pokemon Center, the blue roof is the Pokemon Mart. Congratulations, I just saved you about five minutes of crappy freaking dialogue that just literally gives you, it's practically useless. I hate the tutorial, I wish I, The good thing though is about Oras is that the tutorials nearly aren't as bad. But what I hate about Pokemon Sun and Moon 2 is that there's like a two hour tutorial on how to like, it's, it's just so stupid. The starter ritual, you know, was kind of cool, you know, and how Pokemon come to Lola, you know, they go, they go through the whole entire tradition. But you don't need to spend two hours, you know, in the pre-game, you know, before you're actually about to start your journey. That's like the one thing that pissed me off about Pokemon Sun and Moon. But anyways, back to my argument about Z-Crystals, I honestly feel that Mega Evolution that Mega Evolution was a lot better because it gave, like, those those Pokemon, you know, like, the boost. Like, for example, like, Audino. Like, Audino, it was just known as, like, being, like, the chancy of, like, Generation 5. But guess what? It's an even bigger chance now. It's it's even more of a beast annoying. And what's really cool here is, um, if you actually surf across this river, you can actually get to, um, near Slayport City. I think this is Route 102? 103, actually. And slow Pokemon. Yeah, actually, that's actually a real cool feature that um, Gen 6 came out with, too, was the uh, the sneaking feature. That's that's cool. I really liked Oras. Kind of. I didn't start, I didn't start appreciating Oras more until I actually played it more than a couple times. What's up, mate? How's it going? Here's Starbucks chick. She's looking out. I wish I had, like, a, a coffee sound to make. <laughs> Like, I found this Pokemon here, and this one over here, and, like, oh my god, like, you scared me, like, hey, Mystic. What, my dad gave you a Pokemon as a gift? Well, how about we have, we have a quick battle, and then after, maybe go, like, go get coffee or something? Because that's the only thing I know what to do. MySpace, too. MySpace is, is gone, May. See, every time I talk to this girl, I feel like I lose freaking brain cells. But I will admit, May is actually one, like, one of my favorite rivals in the game. And I really liked how my aura, so they actually made her better than the previous rivals in the games, because in Ruby and Sapphire, May wasn't much of a rival like at all. Like at least in like this game, like at least like you're more like, interactive with her and stuff. So usually at this point in time, the starter usually has the advantage of you, but because the Trico doesn't, Trico doesn't have moves like Absorb or any super effective damage that can really affect Mudkip or um, say for example, you know, if, if you pick Torchic or Trico. Um, the opposite Pokemon doesn't have any moves that's super effective against it. In case you guys are, you know, like, new to, to Mega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Nothing really too new about that, actually. But, I mean, Mudkip severely outclasses Trico, just because we have one level over, and I, I'm thinking, you know, I still need to check the nature of this Mudkip. Remind me to do, I'll do this after, I forgot, I'm, I'm not streaming right now. I like, I like that, that streamer mentality. Like, that's great, like, you're pretty good. I, th I think I'll tone down on the uh, the Starbucks voice. Like, you know, and maybe, maybe not actually. I need to think of like more funny. I need to think of like funnier things to say though, because the whole coffee unicorn frappuccino being a crappy drink. No, I haven't even had the freaking unicorn frappuccino yet. I'll do boy. I'll do boy. So here, my team's helping destroy. Thank you so much. He had uh, his eyes on you. I bet like you could be like. I bet you could like befriend any kind of Pokemon. Just bribe him with coffee. Get him through and stop. What's another thing that, like, stereotypical, like, white girls, like, say? I'm really, really trying to think right now. Like, what's something that, like, we could, like, say about her that she does that's, like, super funny and, like, dumb, I guess. Okay, so our Pokemon are all, all healed up and ready to go. Um, what I want to do real quick, though, actually, no, wait, we don't even need to worry about that potion stuff because this guy automatically gives you, what the hell? Oh, my monitor turned off. My bad, guys. Oh god. Hold on. Give me one Sakaruno. Okay. So my monitor will sometimes turn off automatically because I leave it idle for too long. So I, I guess I'll just move my mouse. I hate it when that happens. So you guys will see like a real real quick tiny stuff. Whatever. Okay, let's let's just go back to Little Root Town. Alright, uh, what's poppin' here at the sign? Little, little, okay, old Bill Town. Alright, so let's head on back down to Professor Burgess' lab. He's basically gonna give you the Pokedex, yada yada yada. Hey, what's up, little kid? I was like, yeah, actually, you came okay, in? You, look, you, you looked a little traumatized before, so what's poppin'? How's it going? I'm glad they inspected that in, uh, intrapred guy. Oh, oh, okay. Intrapred guy? I mean, I'm just some random 10 year old kid, but okay. Oh, missing over here! 
It's 8.30, I'm super tired. I hate waking up this early. He's like, oh, I have to wake up early. I have to wake up at 5 o'clock in the morning to go to work. Well, 8.30 is early for me, so... So you beat me? I heard you beat me on your first try. That's amazing. Maze has been helping out with my long re for my research for a long time. So she has a pretty long history as a trainer. Really? Because last time I checked, she only has a level 5 Trico. I think that settles it. Missy, I ordered this Pokedex for my research, but I think you should take it. That is Professor K's alert volume for streaming. In case you guys don't know, Pokemon Evolution is whenever he streams, that's his uh, notification alert. Pretty cool. A Pokedex is a high-text uh, tool that automatically makes a record of any Pokemon you meet or catch. My girl may text her everywhere she goes. Whenever she catches her Pokemon, she only has a level 5 Trico. Where are you getting this information from, dude? Are you just like trying to make me feel like crap because I beat her? Pokemon people eat me, and the great expanse of nature lies before you. Experience them both while you fill in your Pokedex. I love it if your world seemed wide than ever. Giggity. Though I love it even more if you came back from time to time to show me what progress you've made. Oh, I'm getting the itch to get out and do field work again. Like, oh my god, they have a Pokedex too. Like, you know, my, my Pokedex actually has, like, a built-in Starbucks finder. Like, some Pokeballs can even, like, capture Pokemon. They need to make a coffee Pokemon, damn it. Like, if you catch Pokemon in the wild and, like, battle it together for a while, like, it'll become stronger for you. Take that as a bit of advice from me. You're not an experienced trainer. Shut the hell up. No, you have a level 5 Trico, and I killed you in, like, I killed your Pokemon in two hits. You're not a professional, you're not a more experienced trainer. Shut up. God. A level 5 Trico, and she thinks that, that she owns the world. Let's get the hell out of here. Oh, mom's coming to the rescue. Yeah, what's up, Mom? How's it going? Mystic, Mystic, did you introduce yourself to Professor Birch? Oh, what an adorable Pokemon. You got it from the professor. Nice. You and your father's child, all right. You look good together with the Pokemon. I think that you have your very own Pokemon now. Your father will be overjoyed. But don't you push yourself too hard. If anything happens, you can always come home, honey. Okay, I don't, I don't know what that was. Was that like a... Was that her, like, blowing a kiss? I mean... Was that her waving to you? Is that her blowing a kiss? I have no idea, like, what the heck that was, but okay. No. I, I, I can't lose brain cells. I'm sorry, guys. Must not do Starbucks voice. The app I just called, it's called the Starbucks Plus. It called the Dex Starbucks. It can tell you about lots of Pokemon living in each area and even has a built-in Starbucks finder. <laughs> Like, alright, I guess it's time I use the deck sand to do more Pokemon shopping myself. Wait, shopping? Sorry, I meant catching. <laughs> because I like to go shopping for dolls and candy and other kinds of, like, teenage girl things. And I also like to use the Tinder app. Okay, stop it right there. Halt, man. No, not again. Leave me alone. It's a tail sticking out. Like, I wonder if it's a coyote. We're in the Pokemon world. What are you even talking? A pretty rare move, too. I guess we'll go capture it. All right, guys. Okay. Shh. Quiet. Go, 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 go. We got it. All right, here we go. Let's do this. Um, I'll try and capture it, I guess. It's not obviously gonna be on the best team, but I mean, we'll try and capture it. The last time I recorded this, that the crap recording I was telling you guys about before, we didn't capture it, we kinda knocked it out. So this time, I will actually capture it and we can add it to our Pokedex. It's not gonna be on the best team, but a little known fact about the Poochiana is it, uh, yeah, it, it has um, a move that can help out against the super, um, it helps out against Mudkip's weakness. So say for example, if you start off a Torchic, um, you would have your Mud, your Poochina would have Thunder Fang. And if you start off a Trico, I believe that it would have Ice Fang on it, I think. But I mean, it's pretty cool to know that, the, that they did that with the Poochina to help you out with your journey. I mean, um, these are just natural egg moves and it's kind of cool to know that you're able to do this. We'll never use Poochiana on our team, though, because Poochiana, I mean, it's a cool Pokemon, but it's just not on the best team for Hoenn. Our next Pokemon on the team is, is, is going to be a female Ralts, or whatever Ralts we get. 
preferably free female just because of the fact that I prefer to have my guard of our sumo over male. I know it's the same Sir Knight, but I just prefer to have the uh, the female versions of Gardevoir. I don't know, that's just me. Males in here are supposed to be delayed. I, I don't know. If you, if you guys like female Gardevoirs, that's your thing. My preference is, is it. my preference is female Gardevoirs. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! Hang on, hang on, man. I, I, I just saw some interesting Pokemon Center. It's A Drive. What's up, dude? Yo, Pokemon Center are great. You can use your services as much as you like, and it's all free. You never have to worry. Where's your shiny Mothman, buddy? I don't see any shiny Mothmans on you. You call yourself an A Drive. Get the frick out of here, man. A Drive's better than you. Alrighty, well. So, a fun fact about this guy right here is um, in the anime series, this guy actually. I think this guy is actually looking for like some like rare Pokemon. And it turns out it's actually like a. What the hell is it? Um, a, a Relicanth nest or some kind of. A pond for it or something? Kind of like a rare pond. And watch what this guy says. He's like, oh, dude, these were like some rare footprints. No, it turns out. They were his own footprints. So yeah, nice research in there, scientist. See more of the scientist from the Pokemon anime. Um, so now we could probably go and try and capture Ralts right now, but I'm actually gonna leave you guys in suspense because that's my job as a content creator. But anyways, you guys, if you guys did enjoy um, episode one of Best Team for Hoenn, definitely leave a like, subscribe to all that other really cool stuff. Um, next episode, um, for our schedule for Best Team for Hoenn. Because we kind of start off on a Tuesday, we're going to upload Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday this week. And then next week, we'll be back on the schedule of uploading Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, where we upload at least three times a week. So Best Team for Home will be going up three days a week. And we'll have our, our typical scripted content on the weekends, like a top five, a theory. Maybe even some more Best Team stuff if I feel like coming up with some more content. But what if Pokemon will be returning Sunday as well? So you guys can afford, you know, you guys can look forward to that for the channel coming up in the future. But anyways, you guys, thank you guys so much for coming out to the streams. I love you all. Thank you guys so much for being patient for both Kalos and this. I'll be until then, you guys. I will see you guys next time. And um, also, don't forget your Starbucks.